So what we're doing here today, we've cut out some rings of uh, timber. This is merbau and oak. And our aim is to make a beer stein, so a, a beer, beer moat. Uh, so we've cut all these out and then we're going to uh, join them. Alternate timbers on top of each other. And to, as a mould or a, a form so that they're sitting fairly even, I've got a piece of stainless steel tube which I've put uh, sticky tape over the outside because the epoxy won't stick to it. We're going to epoxy these together and uh, so I'll put uh, sticky tape all over the outside of it and uh, that'll be our form. So we'll, back in, we'll be back shortly to show you how we're going to glue it together. Okay, we've got our rings ready to go. We're using the epoxy glue uh, to mix together equal parts. So our hardener and resin. The resin was, because it's fairly cold, was quite thick and gluggy so I stuck it in the microwave for 20 seconds allows it to become quite pliable but not too hot. Now Jack's mixing it up and what he's out to do is mix it to an even consistent colour and uh, then we'll start um, putting our rings together. So let's see how we go. One of the rings actually cracked when we were uh, cleaning it up so she's been glued up with some fast perb on and uh, it's nearly ready to pull apart. It's still a little bit rubbery but uh, normally I only need to clamp it for about 20 minutes, pull it apart and we'll clean that up and we'll put some glue on that. Now Jack's been working away with our epoxy glue. We use two dabs, um, one from each stick uh, onto there and, uh, and then uh, you can see we've um, coated most of the rings and Jack's finishing one off there and then uh, we've uh, just got to do the one that's been cracked and uh, we're ready to glue them all together. Okay, so here we are. We've um, put the epoxy glue on the rings and they're now all in place. We've actually put uh, four clamps lightly on them just to pull the epoxy up or pull the rings up so there's no gap there and you can see the epoxy's just uh, coming out of the joints. You don't want too much oozing out but you don't want gaps in there either. So we'll leave that uh, dry now for at least 24 hours, take the clamps off it and then pull it off and then we'll glue our base onto it next and then we can start machining away. I think this is going to look pretty smart by the time we're finished. Here we are. I've um, now pulled it off the um, ring and um, slide him off. Took a little bit to get it started with the hammer but once it came away not a problem at all. And uh, there's our rings and our bit of pipe so next thing is to um, glue the base on and away we go we'll then machine it looking good it's going to look really smart when it's finished mm -hmm. 